Ever lost a contact right when you needed it the most? Or maybe you've added a new contact on your iPhone, but when you open your Mac to send that important email, poof, the contact's nowhere to be found. I know how frustrating that can be. Or maybe you're upgrading to a new Mac and wondering, how do I quickly get all my contacts synced without doing it manually one by one? Well, in today's video, we are going to show you how to sync your iPhone contacts to your Mac seamlessly with multiple methods. No frustration, no missed contacts. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to keep your contacts perfectly synced across both devices using methods like iCloud, Finder, Google Contacts, AirDrop, and even third-party tools for advanced users. First, on your iPhone, go into your settings and tap your name at the top. This takes you into your Apple ID settings. Next, tap on iCloud and scroll down until you see Contacts. Make sure that the switch is toggled on. This means your contacts are being backed up to iCloud automatically. Now, let's make sure your Mac is also set up to use iCloud for contacts. On your Mac, click the Apple menu in the top left corner, then go to System Settings. From there, click on Apple ID, then go to iCloud. Make sure the box next to Contacts is checked. This will sync your contacts from iCloud to your Mac. And that's it! Your contacts will now automatically stay in sync between your iPhone and Mac. The best part about using iCloud is that it's a set it and forget it method. As long as your devices are connected to the internet, your contacts will stay up to date without you needing to do anything. Now here's a quick bonus tip. If you're using iCloud for contacts and other data, make sure you've got enough iCloud storage. If your storage is full, it might stop syncing. To check, go back to your iPhone's iCloud settings and tap on Manage Storage. If you're running low, you can either delete some old data or upgrade to a higher storage plan. Alright, if you prefer more manual control over your data, or if you don't want to use iCloud, our next method involves syncing your contacts using Finder on your Mac. This method is great if you like to manually manage your contacts and other data between your iPhone and Mac. First, connect your iPhone to your Mac using a USB cable. You should see your iPhone pop up in Finder on your Mac sidebar. Click on your iPhone in the Finder sidebar. Once you've done that, you'll see a series of tabs at the top. Click on the Info tab. In this tab, you'll see an option that says Sync Contacts. Go ahead and check that box. From here, you can choose whether to sync all of your contacts or just selected groups. Once you've made your selection, click Apply at the bottom right corner and Finder will start syncing your contacts from your iPhone to your Mac. One thing to note about using Finder is that it's a one-time sync unless you keep your iPhone connected and manually sync each time you make changes. This is great if you want control, but it's less automatic compared to iCloud. Now, now, let's say you only need to transfer one or two contacts from your iPhone to your Mac. AirDrop is perfect for this. It's quick, wireless, and doesn't need iCloud or a cable. Here's how you do it. First, on your iPhone, go into your Contacts app and find the contact you want to transfer. Tap on it, then tap Share Contact. From the options that pop up, tap AirDrop, and then select your Mac from the list of available devices. Within a few seconds, you'll see the contact appear on your Mac, ready to be saved. AirDrop is perfect when you need to quickly transfer contacts between Apple devices without going through cloud storage or cables. Just make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on for both devices. And you're good to go. Alright, now for those of you who use Google Contacts to keep your contacts synced across multiple platforms, 
This method is for you. Google Contacts allows you to sync between your iPhone and Mac easily, even if you're using different systems. First, on your iPhone, go to Settings, then tap Contacts. From there, tap Add Account and choose Google. Sign in with your Google account and make sure Contacts is toggled on. Now, on your Mac, open your web browser and go to contacts.google.com. You'll see all your synced contacts right there. Plus, you can make edits on either your iPhone or Mac, and the changes will sync across both devices. This method is excellent if you use Google services regularly, and it works not only with iPhones and Macs, but also with Android devices and Windows computers. Finally, let's talk about third-party apps that give you more control over syncing and transferring contacts. Apps like AnyTrans or iMazing are powerful tools that let you manage your iPhone data on your Mac. Not only can you sync contacts, but you can also back them up, export them in different formats, and even transfer other data like messages, photos, and more. These apps are a great option if you prefer more control over the syncing process or need to transfer contacts without using iCloud. So, to quickly recap, we covered syncing with iCloud for a seamless, automatic process. We also looked at Finder for manual syncing, AirDrop for quick transfers, and Google Contacts for cross-platform syncs. And finally, if you need advanced control, there are third-party apps like AnyTrans or iMazing. No matter which method you choose, you'll now always have your contacts ready on both your iPhone and Mac whenever you need them. If this video helped you, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Mac and iPhone tips. And hey, if you have any questions or other contact syncing tricks, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the